On July 31, 2023, Marion County Sheriff's Office deputy was fueling his patrol vehicle, he observed a black pickup truck equipped with flashing red and blue emergency lights. The truck was driving around cars and through a red light in Summerfield, Florida. At that time, there were no calls for service that would require such a response from law enforcement, prompting a traffic stop to be conducted. This observed a black truck with lights and sirens go through the intersection at 301. He's got lights and sirens and some purple lights trying to catch up. Upon approaching the vehicle, the driver was observed wearing a hat with the lettering, Police U.S. Marshal, and a Department of Justice seal. The driver also displayed a badge and claimed that he was a U.S. Marshal. He advised he was responding to a shooting in Marion Oaks, but there were no reported shootings in the area. He was later identified as 52-year-old Derry Wayne Lambert. See your other hand Where are you headed to? Okay. You have your driver's license on? What's the deal with purple lights? Yeah, they're purple tonight. Where are you headed to? A shooting in Marino? Okay, 10th floor. You got your marshals out here. I'm sorry? Alright, just hang tight for me. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Back there. I saw it. Appreciate it. Thank you. During the investigation, deputy began to suspect that Lambert was not being truthful. Hey, I'm sorry. Can you run a DL? I don't know if you have anything to be able to tell me if this guy's is like Marshal's, but he's telling me he's a marshal. He's running lights and sirens. Does it come back to a marshal vehicle? Okay. Is it a dairy? Charlie Yankee doll? Is it a... Okay. He's telling me that he's a U.S. Marshal and he's responding to a shooting. One that occurred last night in Marion Oaks. Somebody shot out his window. Yep. Can you? He, he's saying they have a suspect. Can you go ahead and get me a Sierra unit? Channel two. A badge but no ID and his vehicle comes back to a private citizen. I'm sorry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your vehicle is your vehicle, is that correct? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, because I'm just looking. I'm looking for something to verify that you're a U.S. Marshal. All right. Uh, who is it? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. What? Okay. Give me a give me a way to verify your identity here. Do you other than calling down there? You said it was it Dylan. Spell it. Gall Gall breath. I donated plus. Well, that's fine. I mean, uh, listen. If you, if you are who you say you are, you know, then then we're, we'll we'll be good. But right now, I just need something to verify that. Um, what what exactly are you responding to? What are you responding to? Do you have a radio or something like that? In my car. So you don't have anything else in So how come your personal truck is outfitted with lights and sirens? Okay. Yeah. 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 You have any weapons on you? Yeah, okay. What is it? You don't need to reach you. I'm sorry? Okay. Lambert maintained that he was a U.S. Marshal who had to go back to shift and repeatedly looked at his wristwatch. That wasn't there. We're working on getting in touch with our liaison right now. Okay. Yeah, if he calls our dispatch, we can straighten it out that way. Yeah. I the voicemail, so I left him a message. Okay. Yeah, just hang tight with me I got to go back to shift in about two hours. So. Where's shift at? Uh, we're I shifting. gotta get in my car. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, hopefully we can get this resolved really quickly. It, it looks it looks suspicious and I, I yes he's so ultimately he's driving a GMC pickup truck it's personally registered to him it's got lights and sirens I watched him run the intersection and I got up to the vehicle there's no rear view mirror um, he handed me credentials which was just the badge he does not have other credentials and said that that's in his other car. He's saying he's shift. He's on shift work and he's got to he's got to be back in shift in two hours. Again, none of this really makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. MCSO's U.S. Marshal Service questioned Lambert over the phone in the attempt to verify his story, but the information did not add up. I've got somebody on the phone who wants to ask you a few questions. Okay. All right, go ahead. Sir, what is your name? Derry Lambert. Okay, what district do you work out of? I work out of Texas, but they got me down. They got me down at Florida right now, looking into uh, Marion Oaks. 
there's two gang member, two gangs out there that are riding on a four wheeler with a pole on it, busting into people's houses. Okay, so and they got a call, so Texas I chase. What's that? What district in Texas do you work out of? Dallas. Okay. I just, my mom's in the hospital in uh, Moffitt Cancer Center, so I flew okay, back you down to my second house. Yeah, understand. exactly. I know exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. When you talk, right. when you talk, just get your hand up. Thank you. Oh, I got nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Just like I got nothing. Yeah, I did know. Are you, you done with him? Yeah. Yep, 10-4. Okay. Yep, should I stay? 10-12 yeah. until Sarge gets here, or just go 10-15. Okay, 10-4. I'll call Mike when I get home. I'm sorry? I'll call Mike when I get home. Okay. Uh, just give me your call and I can call you. All right, just relax. So, Sergeant Warren's coming out here right now. 1023. So, you a Cowboys fan? Huh? Are you a Cowboys fan? I say that. Yeah. All right, the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, relax here, relax here. Make it easy. Yeah. I got to get back and pick her up. Alright. I'll take her my car. <laughs> you want to follow me home, I don't live. Yeah, that's all the only problem. Once we check the red flags, then we'll go from there. We're, just, we're gonna remain here until we get done with our investigation, okay? Yeah. Hey, Sergeant. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. About to go 10. Yeah, about to go 10 15. Yep. Ten twenty three for you. Yes, ma'am. He said that they, he had a, a suspect in Marion Oaks shoot out his window yesterday, and they he believed that they were going to be ten twelve with them, or they're out with them. So he's heading to his guys. After several attempts to verify his law enforcement status, which yielded negative results, Lambert was arrested. All right. I got red bulbs out in the weeds in my street. I'm sorry? I was telling him, what's out in the weeds? I got red bulbs. Eat me up, chasing the guy through the damn forest the other night. All right, do me a favor. Just go ahead and turn around for me. Go ahead put your hands behind your back. For what? I'll explain it to you. Well, all right. 
So you're going to be arrested for impersonating a police officer, okay? I'm going to oh, go ahead what? and read this to you, okay? You have the right to remain I silent. The whole time. Anything you say can and will be used against yeah. you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, we won't be appointed to represent you for any questioning if you wish. You can decide any time to execute these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each rights yeah. I explained to you? I mean, these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, when I saw you coming through the intersection, where were you headed to? Marion Oaks. Okay. Why? I got a call, the four-wheeler was spotted. Okay, so you were... Going to get my car. Who spotted the four-wheeler? Huh? Who spotted the four-wheeler? I have two partners down here. Okay, what are your partners' names? Jim. Jim. Is it James or Jim? No, it's Jim. Jim, okay. What's Jim's last name? Wilson. Wilson. The other one's John Terra. He's Spanish. Terra? I think it's Terra. Spell it. I don't know. I don't know how you spell it. Last name. Spanish. Okay. Does he work with you as well? Yeah. We're down. We're down here for a week. Where do you work at? Where do I work yeah. at? Yes, sir. Where do you work at? I, I told you I live in Texas. Okay. I have a house here and one in Texas. Okay. All right. And who do you work for? Who are you employed by? United States Marshal Service. U.S. Marshal Service. Okay. Um, you told me that you don't have your credentials with you, but they're in your... They're yeah, in my charger. In your charger. A work vehicle? Right. Okay. Who's the charger registered to? It's, it's registered to the Marshal Service. Marshal Service. Okay. That's my personal vehicle. So why would the marshals outfit your personal vehicle with lights and sirens? In, in Texas, it's not like here. Okay. You, you don't have cars like this. We you have a have Florida tag. I know. Okay. Would you mind turning the lights on for us? What? Well, well, if I could undo my hand. Yeah. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Tell me how to do it. I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through it. Um, you want to, well, relax, relax, relax. Oh, okay. I'm not going to listen. Well, come on, I'm not going to listen. It's all How do I turn the lights on? Right here? Yeah. Turn, turn the knob on. Are these the only lights you have on, or are there some in the back? No, that's fine. No, my road is just about. After a brief search of the vehicle, the deputy found paperwork from a concrete business with his name on it. Despite giving Lambert one last chance to come clean, he persisted in maintaining that he is a U.S. Marshal. Uh, my man, moment of truce, okay? Uh, Alright, so uh, the, the, I, need, I need the... So ultimately, your, your 1040s are in there, right? Your, uh, your 
tax forms. Okay? So do you want to tell me why it's not showing that you work for... Tax forms. Yes, sir. Remember old ones. Okay, so... I own, it's, a, I own a concrete company, too. Yeah, I see that. I had to go to SRM yesterday to get... So you're concrete. U.S. Marshal. Do you want to hold on to that? Because ultimately, you're going to go to jail for that. Okay? So this is your opportunity to come... Come clean. Come clean. I'm telling, I'm telling you the truth. Okay. If you want to follow me home... No, we're not following you home. home. You're going to jail. Okay? Right. You understand that? Do you, under, you understand that right now? Okay? You are being in, arrested for impersonating a police officer. Marion County, Florida. Do you okay. want to call Mike Rosen? Nope. I've called everybody I needed to call. Okay? So... You don't want to come clean. You don't want to explain to me what's going on, why you're driving around like this, how long you've been doing it for. I've never been doing it. What do you mean you've I've never been? I've been working for them. It's the first time I've ever done it in my personal truck. Okay. But why would your personal vehicle be outfitted with lights and sirens? Did you buy it at Walmart? At Walmart? Yeah, did you buy the uh, setup at Walmart? I don't know how buy it at Walmart. Okay. All right. They installed it. Walmart at the wire or no, no, no. Walmart yeah. installed it? No. You think I wired all that shit up? I'm not an electrician. I don't know what you are. Alright, you're telling me that you're a U.S. Marshals, but everything else says that you work in a concrete business. I own both. Okay. You own the U.S. Marshals? No. I own a concrete company. If you want to follow in my house, I'll show you. We're not following you to the house. Alright? We'll, we'll call the sheriff. He knows me. I'm not joking with you. Okay. If, if it was funny, it would be, it'd be funny. No, it's not, not funny. No, it ain't funny. No, it's not. No, I've never had a handcuff on me in my life. Okay. I've been in Iraq for 14 years. It's the first time I've ever seen a handcuff on okay. me. Well, ultimately, your twice. credentials do not show that you're law enforcement. Okay. Yeah. You're telling me that you are. You're sticking to that. You're telling me that you are right now while you're in handcuffs in the back of my car that you're law enforcement, yet I haven't been able to verify that through any of the resources that I have. Okay? You don't carry your credentials on you that you allegedly have. I'm not in my, I'm not in my car. Okay. But you have to have them on you. And so you're telling me that you are, but you don't have them on you, right? Well, so you're going to be booked for it, right? And you're going to have to go before a judge, and you're maintaining your story at this point right now that you're U.S. Marshal. I know the whole story. Okay. I know every judge in Marion County. Okay. Watch your feet real quick. Go ahead and slide back in there. Ah, uh, easy. Thanks. Yep. Uh, Blair's on his way, so okay. he wants you to stay from 12 here until he gets here. Perfect. He wants to see okay. what all he's got. Yeah. And he wants to make it a federal case or something like this. Okay. So Fair enough. I know you're supposed to be getting I don't off. Care. Are you going to stay care. around? Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take a reverse eight if I have to. I mean, okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Or right. Hander can take them. I don't care. Well, but, it's up to you. So ultimately, I was at the gas station. Um, yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Started to fuel up. And all of a sudden, I hear lights and sirens. And I look up, and I see this truck going through the intersection. Lights and sirens going on the shoulder, passing everybody. So I stopped fueling. Oh, what color? So they you said they look purple. They look purple. I yeah. just looked at them. They're 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 red and blue, but they look purple. You know, um, you saw it, right? Yeah. Uh, it's obviously uh, a cheap setup. I can't tell if that. I can't make whether or not that receipt shows that it was bought from Walmart, but it, it's a cheap setup. Um, he maintains that he's U.S. Marshal even after confronting him with all the facts. Um, That's what he presented me with. Close. Yeah. I mean, his his story doesn't line up or match up with anything that makes any sense. Yeah. So. It's got a mirror out on the driver's side that he says that yesterday while he's following these uh, gang members on a four-wheeler in Marion Oaks, they shot out his mirror. And that he has eyes on him right now, his two uh, officers. Does he work the same on corners? 
Okay. No. Let's check it. He's just holding on tight to that story. No. So, he's got two officers in Marion Oaks right now that have eyes on him. by their first name. Well, he gave me their names, but he can't spell it. He's got uh, Officer Jim Wilson, but I said, is it Jim or James? He goes, no, it's Jim. Every Jim is a James. Yeah. Uh, and then John Tara. <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay. Hey, but what's that exhaust manifold back there for? What? What's the uh, thing in the back seat? It's an airboat header. Oh, airboat, it's header? An airboat header? Okay. What's it? Why is it back there? I just had an airboat built. Okay. Right, so that's your the, work for your airboat? Yeah, they had to measure the cage. Okay. The two, the two things he's looking up. They're for my mother. She's at Moffitt okay. Hospital Handicap. The, the second newest one, it'll read to that tag to that truck. Fair enough. The old one, the old one was for my dad. It's been in there so long, I didn't even know what's in there. But the new one's brand new. It's registered that tag. What is? The handicap thing. Okay. It's for my mother. So why are you driving around with them if it's for your mother? Because I take her. I pick her up and take her. Okay. She lives in Oxford. Okay. That's where I was coming from. Okay. All right. So one's for your mother and one's for your dad, you said? My dad did. Okay. It's old. Okay. But the latest one registers to that tag and a Kia. Brand new Kia 2024. Can I call your mom to verify? My mom's in Moffitt. She's in Moffitt? Yeah. Okay. Incoherent. Okay. Cancer center. Gotcha. Okay. She wouldn't know me from you. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. I'm not kidding y'all, man. I'm not, I'm not playing the damn game. Okay. All right. Well, slide on back in there for me. If you call Danny Rosa, you can figure it out. Why, why Danny Rosa? Who's Danny Rosa to you? We're good friends. Okay. He knows me. And who is he to us? He's Captain Danny Rosa. For who? Man County. Okay. All right. We'll slide on back in there for me. He says he's good friends with uh, Lieutenant Rosa. He's called him Captain Rosa. <laughs> but he's not working. So he's got his W, his 1040s are in there. He says they're old. So that's why it doesn't show that he's. Why he's working now? Yeah. Can you say how many years he's been a marshal? No, I'll ask him that. Uh, that's a airboat exhaust. Hey, how long you worked for the uh, U.S. Marshals? About three years. Three years? Okay. Going on it. I'm sorry? I'm finishing up at Votech with the Coochie right now to go to work for Marion County. So. To do what? To, to be to, a cop. Danny uh, Rosa got me hooked up in the program at Votech. So why would you leave the U.S. Marshals to come work for us? Because my mom's sick and about to die. Gotcha. I'm not living out Wouldn't anymore. they have a position over here for you? I mean, you're working out of here right now, according to you. I'm just working for them. They don't. I'm not a Marion County cop yet. No, I, I understand that, but you said you're working for the marshals out here right now. Yeah, just for a week. Okay. I'm going back. But you're saying they don't have a position for you here. Well, I haven't applied yet. So why would you go and be a cop for Marion County Sheriff's Office? As because opposed. I'm going to live here forever. Okay. All right. So I don't back Just in. Just call Dan. Okay. You'll sum it up. And then he's got like a GM dash kit in it. I don't know what the dash kit is, but that's only 1474. Maybe that's not it then. Let me ask him what it is. Maybe he'll tell me. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, Mike.
And so what's this receipt for? I have my glasses on. It's a GM dash kit. Stereo for my work truck. For your concrete truck. For your work truck? Yeah. Okay. It's a radio. How many vehicles you got parked at your house? Three. And what are they? I got a GMC, which is in my dad's name. I got a 2013 uh, XL Dually with a concrete trailer hooked to it. And that black truck. And I got a Mercedes Benz in the garage. Where's the, uh, the Dodge? Dodge. Hey, you said you had a Charger. Oh, it's at my house. I thought you said work trucks. No, I asked you how many vehicles are parked oh, in your driveway. I got shit. I can't leave them all there, so I scatter some out. Okay. They got, rules, they got rules over there. You only have two vehicles. One in the garage, two in the driveway. Okay. The rest has got to be moved. All right. Well, slide on back in for me. Hey, crack that one, man. I'm about to have a heart attack. I'll put on the AC for you. I'll turn the AC on. All right. In the final attempt to verify his credentials, Corporal Rosacci contacted MCSO's U.S. Marshal Liaison, who then interviewed Lambert. During the interview, Lambert provided inconsistent information, and it became apparent that Lambert was falsely impersonating a U.S. Marshal. Hey, Mr. Lambert, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Yeah? No, not so good. Yeah? All right. Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. I'm going to read you your Miranda warnings. I know he said that he already did, but I just want to read them to you again, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to execute these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You would... <coughs> Do you understand each of these rights I've explained yeah. to you? Having these rights in mind, do you wish to answer some of my questions or talk to me? I answer whatever you want. Okay, what happened today? I got a call. I just, there's a thing on the dash of my truck. I'm parking at Moffitt. I come from Moffitt. I dropped my mom's car off at Oxford. Lake Mom. I come out of there. I seen that skinny cop right there pulled over with a car. The mm -hmm. lady pulled over and went past him. Mm -hmm. Coming down the road, I get a call on my cell phone. Hey, they see the four out there on the drone. Can you come help us? Who's that? So Who called you? My squad in Texas. If you look through my phone, you'll see the 941 area code. By squad? What do you mean by squad? They sent three or four of us down here. Who is they? The Rangers. The Rangers? Which Rangers? Like the baseball team? No. Hell no. Okay, so what the Rangers? Rangers? The Marshals. The Marshals? Yeah. I've been so the Marshals? For them. Okay, so the Marshals sent you to from Texas? I live down. I got two houses. One here and one there. Okay, so, so the I'm so the Marshals for, called you. Danny. I've known Danny Rosa since I was a kid. Okay, did Danny Rosa call you? No. Okay. If you call him, he okay. it out. Okay. I tried to call him, but he wouldn't answer. He, he went to voicemail. Okay. So, I so, who, Woods, so who I'm called, gonna... so who called you? Who, you said your squad called you. You identified your squad as Rangers at first, and then you yeah, said more. No, because I was in the Rangers for 21 years. Okay. If you look under my back seat, there's a military light. It says ML1. That was in our troop. Okay. So, he's been so, in. so you, uh. I was going to respond. So, the, so your marshal squad called you, and then what happened? They what did they to, say? They wanted me to respond to Mary Notes. I said, I'm at. 441 and 42. Mm -hmm. I said it'd be probably 30, 40 minutes in the trap. Okay. They said never mind. So I shut the lights off and quit. But before that, you turned the lights on. I turned the lights on at 42. And by lights, I mean the the what you would 
your in emergency grill, lights? No, in the grill, I have full blown lights in that truck. By lights, like what do you mean? Like headlights? No. What kind of lights? S10. See? Like emergency cop lights? Yeah. So you have cop lights in your truck? I'm calling them emergency lights because yeah, that's no, what no. I call them. Okay. So you, but you consider lights. them as cop lights? Yeah. So you, you activated your red and blue lights before the intersection? That's when right you got the call? Right at the intersection? Yeah. So then, did you go through the intersection? Uh, I slowed down. I went around the right hand side. Your body stopped. I went through them. Got up over the hill. You went through the intersection the and then got up over the hill? I shut them off. And then shut them off. Okay. The end of it. Okay. What happened whenever you got pulled over? Well, I've been locked up. I've been sitting in this car. No, for... like what happened? Like you, you pulled your truck off onto the grass. The deputy, I'm assuming, walked up to you. Yep. So what happened then? I know the whole deal. I stuck my hands out. I just sit there, rolled the window down. Explain who I was, what I was doing. Okay. And here I am, been sitting in this damn car. Never okay. had a handcuff on me in my life. What did you show Never him? Been pulled over. My badge. What? What do you? By your badge? What is your badge? It's in that front bag right there. Okay. You put it. What is it? It says U.S. Marshals. Okay, so you are identifying yourself as a U.S. Marshal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Were you wearing anything else that identified you as a U.S. Marshal? So you got a, a hat that says U.S. Marshal yeah. and you were wearing that? I got a shirt, bulletproof vest, I got it all. You got a I bulletproof just, vest? I just come out of Moffitt, so I put it right in there. Okay, where's your bulletproof vest at? It's in my house. Your bulletproof vest is at your house? Yeah, I've been in Moffitt Cancer Center all day. Okay. There's a slip on my dash for the valet park. Okay. Um, you got like a change of clothes or anything in the truck? No. Okay, so you were going to go respond to Marion Oaks because your squad told you that something was going on out there and you were going to respond. I was going to get my car. Truck. Okay. So you were running lights and sirens to get to your house? Yes, exactly. And then from your house you were planning on then exactly. again running lights Getting and sirens dressed. to Marion Oaks? Yeah, because I don't carry 380, it's just a backup gun. So where, where you said you got a, you got a, uh, in a, a U.S. Marshal vehicle? I have a concrete business mm -hmm. on the side. I got two more months. I'm transferring from Texas down here. Danny Rosa got me signed up and with the Coochie Botech to become a Marion County. Okay. So my mom's so what, about to die. So well, what, what you're, you, do you have a U.S. Marshal vehicle at your house? I have a charger, just an unmarked charger. So it doesn't have any lights in it? Yeah, just like that. So it does have lights in it. Yes. Who put those lights in? I don't know. They gave it to me that way. So the U.S. Marshals provided you with a vehicle with lights in it? Yeah. Who put those lights in in your truck? I took it someplace they do it. What? Do you know what place it is? No. I, they took it. I dropped it off at the, uh, I'm trying to think, mechanic shop. Rising Sun. They did the oil change. They picked it up from there. Which and who, who paid to put those in? I didn't pay. You didn't pay for them? No. So the marshals paid yeah. for it? Yeah. Okay. So they would probably have a receipt then? I'm sure. If the marshals paid them? Of course. Okay. All right. So is I said, it, if is we it could... sunrise or rising sun? The, the mechanic uh, shop. It's right over the hill in Ocala on the right, right across from the... Uh, uh, cemetery on uh, on like 27 on like 441 oh, okay. rising sun okay butch something so what um where do you work out of texas dallas dallas yes. what's your district district what do you mean well we just if, have you're, in headquarters in dallas. if you're a u.s marshal you would know your district 641 okay that's our squad. Okay. But there's only a few of us here. A few of you? Would I be one of those? No. I'm not a U.S. Marshal? I don't know. I see a badge. Well, here's my credentials. I am actually a special deputy U.S. Marshal. Yeah. 
Here are my credentials. Yeah, mine are in my car. These, I, your I, credentials I, like I this have, are in there. I have one just identically to that. Okay. I, I would say probably not. Because I'm asking you very easy questions to be able to identify yourself and you're not. Who's your supervisor out of Texas? My supervisor? Yes, sir. Your direct supervisor. Uh, Jim Willis. Jim Willis? Yeah. What do you do for the United States Marshals? I, uh, I normally just do raids. Raids? Yeah. Okay. Who do you work for? Twice. Like okay, so where do you work for the Fugitive Task Force? Do you work for the District Marshals? No. Do you, I work, who do you I work, work for? I work for the Task Force. You work for the Task Force? Like people running, we do raids. All I do is raids. You know Jim Willis's phone number? I do in my car. It's in your your car yeah. this truck? No. Where's Jim Willis at right now? Texas. Okay, you gave me two names. Do you remember those two names that you gave me earlier that are your partners here that you I called me? I'm so confused, man. I don't know if I'm coming or going. I've been in Moffitt since. I ain't slept in three days. My mom's a critical care unit. So you don't remember who your partner's names are? Uh, what center at Moffitt is your mom going to? She's on the fourth floor. I have a couple different centers. She's in the She's in the cancer center. Moffitt only treats cancer. So what, what building is she in? I'm going to look on my phone and find out. Because I just left that. <coughs> I said call Mike Woods. You, you can solve this problem. Who is Mike Woods? The sheriff. Do you mean Sheriff Billy Woods? Billy Woods, yeah. Okay. I call him Mike. I okay. donated all the wood for his campaign, the whole nine yards. Okay. Are you intoxicated right now? Hell no, I ain't intoxicated. Okay. I've been awake for three days. Okay. I just didn't know if no. you were on, you've been, have maybe had a couple drinks no. Shit, or no. done any type of illicit awake, drugs. I've been awake for three days now in the ICU. Okay. All right. You call Moffitt. The number's on my phone. There's a ballet sticker on my truck. I got a handicap thing. Okay. Nine yards. You got your phone with you here? It's in the huh? truck. You got your phone in the truck? Yeah. You don't have your supervisor's number in your phone? That's my personal phone. So I, got, I got supervisors in my I personal know, phone. I know. I don't. I have a phone like y'all got. Sure. And I have my supervisor's person. number in that phone. But then I also have his personal phone number in case this phone dies. That way, if I need to reach him, you don't have his personal phone. You look at that one. That, that's my concrete phone. You look at it. The phone's all busted in pieces. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a little bit. Of, I'm gonna if give I you a little bit of an out. You, okay, listen to me for just a second. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an out or whatever. Right. Um, I know you're not a U.S. Marshal. I'm a U.S. Marshal. Right. I know for a fact, 100%, you are not with the U.S. Marshals. Okay. okay. So I would just want to know why you would try to identify as a U.S. Marshal. Was it to like get around traffic? No. Okay, so what were you trying to do? I told you twice I was responding to a call. With the U.S. Marshals? Yes. You, okay. You don't know about the drones out there flying over? Sir, there is nothing up. like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little tip, pro tip, okay? There's only three of us in this county. You are not one of the other two. Okay. That's a pro tip. All right. You don't know me, and I don't know you. One hundred percent. Right. But yet, we do the same thing. Right. I know people in Texas too. And I've been in the military sixteen years. Okay. The Rangers. Okay. And you didn't know that. No. I've never been in the military. Yeah. I've been shot twice. Got two bullet holes in the back. Stabbed twice. Well, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm not talking about the Rangers. Though. Right. All right. Go ahead and put call, your feet in. Just call Billy Woods. Okay. It's simple. Hey, okay, how, how much is that lean on your truck? 
You don't know how much lean is for on your truck? How much do you owe for your truck? I don't owe zero, but I put a lien on it because I got a divorce. First wife took $1.8 million from me. I got married again. And I started doing, or trying to take it. I put a lien against it. Yeah, we're asking him right now. He's saying that he doesn't know anything on the truck. Okay. How long ago did you buy it? 2016. 2016. 2016. Okay. All right. Okay. Go on ahead and do me a favor and put your feet in there. Have a seat. Not right now. Yep. We'll do. Yep. A search of his vehicle revealed he had a full control panel for emergency sirens and lights, as well as a firearm. Well, we searched it real good. I mean, he's not lying. He's got headers in there. He's got a big old LED, like, it looks like a military light from a vehicle in the back seat. Everything's nice, clean, parallel, nice, no junk see anywhere. Let me get you some good. All right. Hat and there's his badge. I already took, or uh, I saved the pictures. So if you pull up U.S. Marshal movie badge, that's the first thing that comes up. Oh, really? Is it real metal? Is it? Yeah, yeah it's. Oh, it just looks. Plastic. Well, I mean, that's a real U.S. market. Yeah. Oh. It looks yeah. plastic. That, no. or, but this, I, it doesn't even have our, like, this isn't even right. There's nothing, I mean, it's not even close. Do you want to evaluate him for, no, no, no. He was charged with false impersonation of a law enforcement officer, unlawful use of blue lights, unlawful use of a badge, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. He was then transported to Marion County Jail, but his troubles didn't end there. Did he get a hold of Mike Woods? I'm sorry? Did he get a hold of Mike Woods? Same type for me, bud. His cuffs are fucking killing me. Left wrist shattered. Hey. Tell him not to lose that phone because I got a call. I'm sorry? Tell him not to lose that phone because I got a call. I have your phone right here. Oh, okay. We're going to seize it. Oh, okay. But okay. I got a call. I got a, I get one call. Not off that phone, you don't. I lost some phone. You get a phone call when and you get to the Everybody is open that door without a search warrant. I'm sorry? I said, you can't open the doors without a search warrant either. Sure I without can. Without a dog sniffing it. You're under arrest. Okay, let's see, let's see what my attorney calls you. Hey, can I get, did you get my wallet out of there? Yep, I got your wallet. Keys too? I'm sorry? The keys. Your keys are staying there. All right, when do I get to make my phone call? When you get to the jail and after you get booked in. So you're, you're being arrested for impersonating a police officer and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. I'm not a convicted felon. I'm sorry, and the commission right. of a felony, I apologize. You're being charged with impersonating a police officer and possession of a firearm. I have, a, of a, I have a license to carry a gun. Doesn't matter. Impersonating a police officer and felony. Yeah. When I get that call, where will I tell them to come bomb me out of that? I'm sorry? When I get that call, where will I tell them to come to get me at? When you get what? I'm sorry? Bonded out. When you get bond, you're. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll tell you what your bond is when I'm done. It's gonna be late. Um, yeah, somebody's gotta pick her up at eleven o'clock in the morning. I hear you. I hear you. She's going to hospice. So I don't want her to die. I'll get my attorney to do the rest. Let's 
get these fucking handcuffs off. God damn. Yeah, my hand. At the jail, detention deputy located several diazepam pills in a concealed compartment inside Lambert's wallet. Two more charges were added, possession of diazepam and introduction of contraband into a detention facility, bringing the total to six charges. Inside the jail, Lambert finally admitted that he is not a U.S. Marshal from Dallas, Texas. Hey Lambert, so they told you that they found some pills inside your wallet? Yeah, they're prescribed. Okay, where's your prescription at? In my house. Okay, you know you cannot carry pills on you without the prescription container? My doctor told me I always could have them. I'm sorry? My doctor always told me that. The, my doctor's numbers and cards in my file that they wouldn't give me. Okay. No doctor's going to tell you that you can carry around pills without a prescription container. I had the prescription. I, you yes. can have the prescription container, okay? So you're also being charged with that, and you're also being charged with the introduction into a county facility, okay? So uh, you're going to have you're going to have six charges, okay? What do you mean six charges? Impersonating a police officer. Unauthorized blue lights, using blue yeah, lights. I always carry the pills on me. Okay. In case of. All right. I prescribe that. I have all that. I have a doctor. Possession of a law enforcement badge. Okay. Introduction to a county facility. I told Possession. her when I came in the door I had it. I told the nurse when I came in the door. They still came in. They still came in. You understand that? And that's not what I was told. I was told they found it upon searching. Not that you told them no, I that you told, had it. Go ask the lady. Okay. All right. So I told her. Okay. I had value in my wallet and my person is going to get it. Right. She said no. So here's the deal, all right? I'm going to cut you a break on, on your running the red light. Okay. Riding on the shoulder and, and the mirror on the side of the vehicle. Okay. Those are all things that you can't do. Okay. You have any questions for me? No, sir. I, I just can't get anybody on the outside because every number I got is in that phone. I, hear I can't you. get that I hear phone, you. I can't get no help. Okay. I mean, I can't help you right now with that, all right? But you got to make some better decisions, okay? I've never made, I've made, never made a bad decision. So you still maintain life. that you're U.S. Marshals? No. I, it's from the stress. I've, I've been awake for five days. Okay, but you purchased that. I, told you. I don't think you purchased that badge while you were stressed. I think you had that badge. I don't think you put no, the blue the lights, the red and a, blue lights on your car. It was there when I bought it. Now that I think back, it, they were there when I bought it. The red and blue lights were there when you bought it? Okay. Yeah, not hat and badge. Okay. I so regardless, right, you can't turn them on and you can't use them, what you did, okay? Well, I, I know okay. that. Like right. I said, All right. I'm so stressed out, I don't even know where I'm at. You have I any questions for me? Any other questions? I just need to know how to get a bond to get out of here. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm almost done with the paperwork, and then uh, you can call a bondsman, okay? I think it's $18,000 is your bond, okay? Well, they won't let me... They still want me bond out because I have to have an outside number. Okay. I, I can't help you, okay? And I can't get out of here because of that. All right. I got an attorney, but I can't call him either because I don't know his number. All right, man. Well, there's an attorney list over there. You should be able to look it up, okay? It's not over there. All right. Well, I'm sure they can help you out over here. Nah, she won't help me do nothing. Right. She won't tell me nothing. All right, man. Well, I'm going to get out of your hair, okay? All right, man. Thank you.